All right, what is up guys, Daddy's here. We're literally about to pull up to meet one of my good friends who's actually done $50,000 in affiliate marketing sales um, from one, one you know, affiliate offer that, that, he's been, that he's been pushing. So I hit him up, shot him a text, and I was like, yo, I wanna just ask you some questions so that you know, anyone interested in affiliate marketing can hopefully um, get, get some information out of you. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do here. We're pulling up, there's another R8 right there. Ooh. There's the lad. Oh yeah, so if you guys don't know, so this is my boy Nathan. He's like my age, or I think actually a little bit younger. Yeah, it's affiliate marketing. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? You know, long time no see. Yeah, for sure. I brought the boy Kai with me. What's up? How's it going, bro? I did a slight introduction of who you were. Oh, sweet. Who you okay, are, cool. just kind of just saying, um, you from my age and do affiliate marketing. Yeah. And you'd recently, what, broke 50K in sales or something? Yeah, that was in my first year of just one affiliate program, so I run a few different ones, but just one of them, I hit 50K in under a year, so. Shoot, okay, and then I, know I, don't, I don't like talk a lot about affiliate marketing um, on, my, on my YouTube channel, but there's always people that you know like ask me just about it. So like, I think one of the biggest questions is just how you generate like traffic or get leads for your affiliate offers. Yeah, so there's a few different ways you can do it with affiliate marketing. Um, I mean, when it comes to, like Shopify and stuff like that, it's a lot of paid ads, influencers, Facebook ads, stuff like that. With affiliate marketing, you can do either the paid ad strategy, you can do Facebook ads um, with like lower ticket offers, Amazon Associates offers, ClickBank offers, things like that. Um, I specialize a lot of high ticket affiliate marketing where it's basically selling more expensive products that have better commission structures. So instead of selling, you know, ClickBank offers that might be, you know, 50 to $100 for 20 to 30% commission, it's more so offers that are, you know, 300, 500, 1,000 that might be 50%, 75%, even 100% commission. And so it makes it a lot more worth your time. But for me, I do focus mainly on um, social media marketing and a lot of free marketing strategies just because they convert really well with high ticket offers because you don't really have to you know, put a bunch of funnels and a bunch of ads in place to just make you know, $100 profit, $500 profit. It's like with one sale through you know, social media, whether it's posting free content, doing outreach to your market or whatever it might be, you can generate one sale to make you know, $500. So it, it kind of depends on, on how you <laughs> we just We just walked in and put him on the spot here. Yeah. He's, just, he's working, we're just like, all right, start speaking <laughs> it done. <laughs> In terms of like offers, like how would you go about like telling someone just what to promote? Like what do you think, like, like I guess like, like for yourself, like how did you know that you wanted to do higher ticket offers versus like low ticket offers? So, I mean for me when I first got started, I kind of fell into it because I basically started learning from different programs, different strategies, and then I was looking into a lot of the lower ticket stuff. Amazon Associates, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically Amazon's affiliate program. Amazon's one of the biggest retailers in the world. You can sell any of their products for about five to ten percent commission, which you know is fine if you want to have a super general, you know, type of brand, or you're just selling just you know household items or whatever, making five to ten percent. For me, it didn't really seem worth my time because I have more of an e-commerce background. Um, I was doing a lot of drop shipping stuff, and you know, with that, it's kind of the same model where you're doing a lot of low ticket sales, and you have kind of like a lot of maintenance and upkeep to kind of keep those lower ticket sales coming in, which if you can master influencers, if you can master ads and stuff like that, you can just kill it because, you know, spending 5K in a day to make 15K, you obviously can do that. You can do that same thing with affiliate marketing. Just when I got started, I was basically learning from a few different programs and then I just kind of fell into high ticket because some of the programs I started learning from had their own, you know, affiliate programs. So I basically just decided to just start, you know, using a lot of the strategies, start promoting those products and kind of started killing it. It kind of depends on what you want to do. I mean, if you have a lot of, you know, marketing experience with different ads, you come from, you know, an e-commerce background, something like that, you can totally apply Facebook ads and even influencer strategies to fill marketing. Um, but if you're just getting started, you kind of have to figure out what your kind of goal is and how much time and money you have to put into it. Because I mean, you know, especially with like Shopify and stuff like that, you need some startup capital to, you know, put into ads to test and stuff like that. Some affiliate marketing programs you can just get into and just start, you know, learning some of the 
processes either through a training program or through you know trial and error and then just start applying them to make you know those 20 30 percent commissions but it's pretty free to start okay stuff like that. and then um like back end wise like do you use any like softwares or programs to kind of like either like speed up the process or like outsource delegate the process so it's not just like a one man yeah show or is like i mean like just like back end wise like after maybe you've you know, got a lead or something like do you do like like how, how would you do about that yeah yeah so i mean depending on what channel you want to do whether you want to do paid ads through facebook ads influencers whatever or you want to do you know free social media marketing whatever anytime you're advertising online you always want to capture people that are interested because I mean, people's attention span these days is super, super low. So it's like, especially on social media, they see one product and they see another and then they're scrolling past and before they even you even get the chance to persuade them and even get them as a sale, they already moved on to something else. So it's super important to convert leads. Um, the smartest way to do it really with any business is usually offering some sort of freebie, some sort of free report. Say you're selling a you know product, it's like a cookbook or something like that. If you you know sell or even just for free for them to give you your name and email, um, or for them to give you your their name and email, you basically give them a free report that basically just goes over how to make one recipe or something like that. And then through that, you can basically build up trust and rapport by sending out um, emails. I mean, you can use like Aweber, you know, get response. Um, if you're more advanced, like Infusionsoft, stuff like that. Um, and then also like ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is great for building out funnels and kind of structure every, structuring everything. So, I mean, depending on how you want to do it, when I first got started, I didn't really do a lot of that stuff. I was mainly just going, you know, shooting from the hip, just, you know, posting free content um, in my niche and then just kind so of- So you guys just started like literally how anyone can start just by posting Yeah, content. I mean, honestly, if you guys either know a lot about a certain topic or you want to learn more about a topic and just kind of immerse yourself, Honestly, both strategies are great because if you know a lot, you can provide a lot of value to people that are looking into it. And then through that, you can give away some free content, some of that free content you can capture leads with, and then build an email list and then shoot out some products that either you've used, you know, tools that you've used, whatever. Or honestly, one thing that I've seen a lot that's really been working well is you literally just jump into a niche, you know nothing about it. Um, and you basically just kind of start building your brand from the ground zero. You're not really creating content, you're just documenting your journey. And a lot of people can relate to that because I mean, it doesn't matter what you're really posting about. A lot of people, if they feel like you don't really know what you're talking about, they're not really gonna listen to you or give you that credibility and authority you need to kind of persuade them. But at the same time, people like to be related to you. So it's like you're selling something and you can relate, then I mean, conversions are gonna be a lot better. So I mean, it kind of depends on, on exactly how you wanna structure it. but. I mean, you can start with something you, you know a lot about. I mean, if you if you have an interest, if you have a hobby, I'm sure there's products out there that you can do you know affiliate marketing for, um, or even start you know a store or something around it. It's honestly just about kind of figuring out what you're good at and what you know a lot about, building a brand off of that, whether that's personal brand, separate brand. Whatever. Okay. And then last few questions, right? Um, if someone wanted to start tomorrow. Like, it, like they watch this video and they're like, all right, I want to do free marketing right now. How can I get started? What would you recommend be the like first steps? So I would audit what your skill sets are already. If you come from say Thaddeus's channel and you're kick ass at Facebook ads or influencer marketing, you can kind of use that to your advantage because you already know how to maximize those skill sets. So you can basically build an Instagram page doing shout outs and stuff like that. Um, and then kind of link it back to, you know, some sort of funnel freebie or whatever. Um, Cause you know, with e-commerce it's all about, you know, a lot of it is about you know free plus shipping and stuff like that. Um, but it's like the same thing with affiliate marketing. You can basically just give away something for free, like oh free affiliate guidebook or free. So you're just like offering e something of value. Yeah, you offering something for value, yeah. and then you can exchange it for some sort of you know contact email or something like that. Um, so if you if you're good at that type of stuff, then I would totally go out and kind of kill it with Facebook ads. I mean it's very very similar to you know Shopify and stuff like that. You're building you know just kind of basic you know fan page. You know, figuring out who your target audience is. A lot of times with a lot of affiliate offers, you can contact um, the affiliate uh, manager and kind of see what their demographics are, if they have any pixels on their website already, or for them to place a pixel on your affiliate link for you to basically just start gathering data, just kind of like Shopify and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, if you're good at that type of stuff, I'd totally go, you know, into paid ads and just start promoting different offers. You could go to something, you can go to a website called clickbank.com, jbz.com, 
and if you basically just go to the different sections you can sort them by popularity um, and basically like average commission rate and stuff like that basically just find a product that's converting really well um, just kind of the same thing with like Aliexpress and stuff like that you can basically just sort by orders basically find what's popping right now and then kind of either craft some sort of free lead generation you know thing or you know do some sort of funnel or whatever around that product and go for it or if you're a little bit more strapped on cash and you're just trying to figure out you know how you can just kind of bootstrap it um, which you can totally do is you can either um, one just kind of find a topic you're really good at start just pick some sort of marketing channel um, in my opinion the best one's probably just free social media strategy so it doesn't matter if it's like Facebook you know Facebook page Facebook group whatever or you know Instagram snapchat whatever if you just consistently post a ton of value people will come even if the first day you have zero views no one no likes or anything it doesn't matter because as you start to get people checking out your page you're gonna see damn this guy's been super consistent he's actually really cares about you know helping people and honestly what you should do is keep it about 80 percent value and then maybe 20 percent cta meaning call to action where you're just posting out a ton of content ton of content ton of content and then every you know one or two posts out of ten posts you'll just say oh by the way, if some of you guys want to learn more about this, check out my website. Or, oh, I'm running a 50% off sale, something like that. Because if you just do more than 20%, even 10% sometimes, some of your audience can just kind of, you know, not really want to get the offer and then they'll bounce off your page or whatever. So, I mean, the, the most powerful thing is just curating an audience that's interested in the product you're selling or at least the niche that you're in. Um, and then if you just kind of keep building that, that's kind of the evergreen cash flow. So, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, last question. So, in terms of like margins and like how much you spend on like paid advertising or whatnot, like it sounds like you're really good at just like capitalizing on free organic traffic, right? Yeah. And so, like out of the money you've made in affiliate marketing, like how much would you say like you spent maybe on actual paid ads, like or just like you know, or how much you're actually retaining? Um, yeah. From, from the sales. So, I mean, the thing is, is that one key thing to realize is when you're doing affiliate marketing, it's not like e-commerce where there's a lot of hard costs involved. There's no cost to, to manufacture the product. There's no product or no cost to um, house the product and ship the product. So it's basically no, if there's no hard cost, there's nothing associated with creating the product or, you know, if it's a free download or whatever, that means margins are going to be a lot bigger. So your own only real cost is going to be marketing. Well, you can master free marketing. Your basically your margins are 100%. Or if your pay, you know, payment processor takes a certain percentage or whatever. So for me, you know, I was working with a lot of offers that are 100% commission, and some that are like 75% commission, 50% commission, stuff like that. And building that audience on social media and just providing consistent value and things like that. I mean, I've retained especially for that one program the 50k in commissions that was basically all 100% profit besides my um, you know my payment processor which is like 3% or whatever so um, I mean it's honestly something that could be super super lucrative but I mean one thing that I've been getting into you know after like over the last like couple months is getting more into paid ads getting more into scaling and things like that because when you get started with you know any business usually it's, it's gonna be more time intensive to where you don't really have a lot of money you're kind of bootstrapping it you're getting it going once you get it going and you have some cash flow to work with, you have some profit, then you want to reinvest that back into marketing because then you're just basically removing your time from your sales, which is when you can really scale. Okay, awesome, dude. I mean, I don't have any more questions. Uh, I'm sure you know these guys got a bunch of a bunch of value from from that, and I appreciate you just letting us run up on you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Literally, I don't know. Just say what's yeah, up. No, questions. Boom, boom, boom. But yo, bro, um, thank you again. Yeah, Is there sure. um, like if they want to reach out to you? At all, like, where would you say to hit the up? Like, I'll link your YouTube or whatever you want me to. do. Yeah, you can check out my YouTube and like my Instagram and stuff below, um, or Facebook. Just Is that Nathan just Ross. the best to like reach out? Just yeah, like, honestly, um, I mean, I have a ton of free value on affiliate marketing on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out. I have all my links to my social in those descriptions, or just my Instagram or Facebook or whatever in the description. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I have no problem, you know, answering you guys' these questions and, and helping you guys out. Awesome. Well, guys, that, that wraps up the video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm a cruise here with Nathan for a bit, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Peace.